Uh, hello guys, this is uh, Gessie from Vitronsec Solutions. So today I want to show you how to connect your, how to connect and program Vantage 500. So this is Centurion and it's Vantage. Right, so this is the, how the the power supply connection is done. This is the uh, uh, main line and then the neutral and the head goes the head goes this way it goes to that side so we terminate it and connect it under there. So that's for the power supply and later I'll show you how to connect the arms. Okay guys so I'm about to start with the uh, the machine connection so I want to show you how the cable connections are uh, the color code of the cables and things so uh, in this case you know the black cable coming from the machine has uh, two uh, three uh, about six cables we have about two thick ones and then four of the tiny ones so the two big ones are for the power supply those those cable supplies power to the, the machine so they are quite big and uh, we have blue and black so for extension sake we added our own cable now we, we could realize that in this cable we have red and then blue now here's the here's the trick you could have used the blue for the blue and black for uh, for the red but it does not make sense it does not make any sense at all so uh, in this our case the blue cable coming from the machine is actually the positive wire and then the black is the negative so in case you use the blue for blue and then the black for the brown uh, it will be a bit confusing so the best thing to do is to give the black to the blue and then the the, uh, the blue to the brown depending on which cab which cable you are using you can use any other cable that matches the color of the the original cable coming from the machine so you just have to make sure you know which color you use of uh, use for which one so that's for the power supply to the machine and then coming to the small cable the tiny cables these are the sensor cables coming from the machine and we have red blue black and then purple so in this case i'm i'm using the cat cable to do the uh, signal cable so in this our case i have used blue for blue uh, red for brown so red is going with the brown the black cable is going for the green so the black cable is going for the green and then the purple for the orange so you have to remember that you can use any other cable so you just have to remember the colors so i will start with the the connection so if, if you check my wiring here i have one set of cable with black tape on and then another set with a zip tie on so um the the set of cable with the black tape on is coming from the is going all the way to the other arm which is on the on the other gate and then the other cable the one with the zip tie is coming from is coming directly from this arm with me so this arm here um uh, is on the is on the sleeve and then the other one is going to the to the master now you need to know which machine is the master and which one is the is the sleeve so in case you have a gate with a, a small lip here you have to make the one with the lip a sleeve and make the other one without the lip a master in some cases you have the gate with nothing so 
you don't have to worry about which one is master which one is slave but in case you have the in case one of your gate has to close before the other the one that closes before should be the slave and the one that closes after is the master so in this case i have the the set of cable with the black tape is the is the master and then the one with the zip tie on is the is a slave so you have to remember that you need to know which which cable is for the master which cable is for the slave so i'm going to do the connection uh, and, and i'll do some of some of the connections off camera and i'll show you what uh, i've ended up with or the result is after so uh, stay tuned Alright, so before I start with the connection, let me explain what I'm going to do before I do anything other. Um, so remember the the cable with the black tape on is the is the master, and then the cable with the black zip tie is the is a slave. So now, if you check the control board, we have uh, MTR. M plus MTR M minus M, uh, MTRS plus MTRS minus. So MTR means motor and then M means master, S means, uh, means uh, slave. So my cable with the black tip, which is the master, which is for the master, uh, goes to the MTR uh, uh, MTRM. Now the blue cable here is actually the negative and in the, the same blue cable represent the black one coming from the machine the the original cable and that cable is the is a negative uh, cable of the machine and then the the brown that i have here represent the the blue which is a positive uh, cable coming from the or, uh, the machine so with the master i will connect the I'll connect the blue of the master to the MTR minus and then the the brown to the MTR plus. So in case you are using the same cable coming from the machine, you have to use the black of the master, the, the master to the MTR M minus and then the the blue coming from the machine to the MTR positive or plus coming from the machine so that's in case you are using the original cable otherwise you make sure whatever color you use for the uh, black should go to the minus and then whichever color you use for the blue should go to the positive and this is my master cable so I'll connect this to M MTR M minus and MTR M positive um, and the same thing goes to the to the slave so this, uh -huh. so back to the connections this is the slave cable and it goes to the MTRS the blue will go to the blue which represents the uh, the black from the original cable will go to the MTRS minus and then the brown which represents the blue from the original cable goes to the MTRS positive so that's for the slave connection and then coming to the sensor cable or the signal cable it goes this way the the red and the, the black from the original cable uh, for power supply to the sensors so in this case we are going to join both the red the, the two red from the two machines together and then the black of the two machines together so that's what i did here in this case the brown of my cassis cables uh, are representing a red and then the green ones are representing a black so i've joined those two together as you can see here you just have to be careful when you are doing this kind of connection so that you don't damage anything in the machine so remember the red cables are going to be joined together and then the same thing as the the black 
Um, so in this case, my black is the the black cable that I, that is coming from the machine is is the green that I have here. The same thing as the red, which is the brown here. And then the other ones, you you still have the blue. So I'm I'm using the same color for the signal cable. So the blue is actually the blue. The only different thing here should be the purple, which I'm using orange for. So here you have orange, but then the original cable is purple. So back to the control board. You could see at the top here you have sense positive, sense my, uh, negative. So the red cable, which is my brown here, will go to the sense positive, and then the green cable, uh, the black cable, the black signal cable, which is my green cable is here. Uh, we'll go to the sense negative now in the next step you got to be very very careful so now if you check the cable the cassis is as a, one of them is marked with a black tip which represents the master so this cable is actually coming from the master machine which is from the other side And then uh, we have the blue. So these two cables, the orange and the blue, are going to be connected to the M sense one and then M sense two. So if you check, you have S sense one, S sense two. So those those two uh, different uh, ports are representing the master and the slave. So in this case, the cable with the black tape coming from the master uh, machine will be connected to the M sense uh, port. So the purple, which is the orange I have here, will go to the M sense one, and then the blue coming from the master. We'll now go to the M sense two, and we are going to do the same thing for the for the sleeve. So the the purple from the sleeve, the from the cassis coming from the sleeve machine, will go to the S sense one, and then uh, the blue will go to the S sense two. So I'll show you. Uh, the connection is safe after i'm done so i'll do this one off camera so guys stay tuned uh, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel mm. so guys um, this is how the connection is looking like so let me start with the machines this is coming from the master machine, which is uh, the gate that closes last. And then this is coming from the sleeve, which is the gate that closes first. So, um, blue actually represents the black cable from the original cable of the machine. So, uh, let me see now. So, the blue of my cable here represents the black. It goes to the negative and then the the brown actually represent the blue which goes to the positive so from the slave the black will go here or whichever you connect cable you connect to the black will go to the minus or the negative and then whichever cable you connect to the blue goes to the positive the same coming from the master so in this case the cable with the black tip is the is coming from the master which is the gate that closes last or which is the gate that opens first so black to the mtr uh, m uh, my uh, negative and then the red to the mtr m positive so coming to the senses these two green cables represent the original black signal cable from the machine the tiny one and then the brown they represent the red 
So in this case, uh, if you are doing a double swing gate, both the signal, the positive of the signal cable, and then the negative of the two machines will be joined together. So the, the, those are the red, and this, these are the blacks. Coming to the the signal, the main signal cables. The orange cables you have seen, you are seeing here, are representing the purple, the original purple cable from the um, uh, machine. And then the the blue, obviously, are still the blue. So, from the cassis with the black tip, which is from the master, you connect the purple to the M sense one. So master sensor one, and then the the blue to the master sensor two. So this cable is going to the master. So make sure you connect these ones to the master sensor port. And then the same thing as the the other cable, which is from the uh, from the slave the slave uh, machine. You connect the purple of the slave machine to the M, uh, slave sensor one, and then the blue to the slave slave sensor two. So that's all you need to know about uh, the wiring of the Centurion Vantage 500. I think the same thing goes to the Vector. Uh, I mean, uh, should be the same thing for the V-Series. But this is Vi Vantage 500. And uh, I've already connected the, uh, the mains. So it's, it's working now. Let me just connect the charger. I don't want to power it up now. So, so the, the mains are already connected and then make sure you connect the, the 18 to so this is my 18 so I've connected the, the 18 down there we have the life and the neutral in here so this is the charger now so guys um, that's all you need to know about how to connect the your vantage machines to the to the control board so there are some few ports here which are for the uh, photo cells and other things but right now i'm not connecting any of that i don't want to confuse you for, with anything so this is the main connection for the the two machines one here and one at the other end so there's one at the other end there quite some way don't worry about this this is this has another story so you don't have to worry about that just make sure you do your thing very well and you do the a good um, wiring so that you don't have any problem in the future so guys stay tuned and make sure you subscribe i will do a part two video for the the programming so make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up and see you on the next one